So here we are then at uh, Jurong East Stadium. Albrecht Nagata taking on Haugang United in the Singapore Cup 2022 semi-finals. It's a replay of the semi-final we saw back all the way in 2011 when Albrecht were held to a two-all draw here by Haugang United. Someone who can really put that in position. That's flicked on. Oh, and they've got the goal, stealing in at the near post. Well, that has to be disappointing as far as Haugang United are concerned. And Albrecht Zagata have taken the lead. Well, very good contenders for Team of the Year as well, apart from the three that made it in Ilhan, yeah. Tanaka and Edetsu as uh, they come forward here. Shawal Anwar, did he wait too long? Here is Sahil, who's gone for goal, and it's gone through the legs of Koga. And they've hit back in just three minutes. Haugang United, Sayo Saimi, two goals in as many games. Well, that's the, the threat that they have in attack. That's the quality, the individual quality in attack that we spoke about as well. And the quick transitions, you know, the moment they win it, bang, off they go. Take it off uh, Kobayashi in midfield. That's good work by Shawal. And uh, that defense has been uh, left wide open. Looks like something in mind. Just practice as Ilhan, free. Again, oh, it's good work there from the keeper. They cleared it off the line. It looks like they have. They felt it crossed. It has crossed. It's gone in. And the second goal. And again, off a corner. It's almost, it almost a carbon copy. <laughs> you see Kakuta just peeling off the bodies in and around the six yard box. No doubt that that's crossed the line. Yeah, so the Gulam is not 100% at the moment. Oh, Ilhan! Too easy. It's another goal. Just looked across at the assistant. And Kodai Tanaka has added another. Watch this run from Ilhan. Brilliantly timed. Just have a look at this movement here. Of course, the quality of this pass from Kobayashi is just uh, brilliant. Could have been five, apparently, with uh, well. Kapitovic missing that chance. And perhaps he's heard that Tanaka has left the <laughs> field of play. <laughs> Oh, that's fallen in nicely. Sayosu Haimi. Open goal in front of him. His second of the night. Makes it 3-2 now. Oh, there we go. That's a superb cross by Shawa. Right into the head, onto the run of Sahil. You know, they always respond. They tend to respond well. Yeah. They responded well to that equaliser. Was that a push? The referee says it is. A penalty. Well, this would be so frustrating for Hauga. It's very smart play. Very smart play from Sugita and clumsy from Mohaimin. Well, can Azil Yazid be a hero here for Hauga United? Yes, he can. He makes the save. They're still in this. Not the best penalty you'll see from Kobayashi. Oh, great anticipation from Sawo. That is a fantastic goal. He knew what was coming. He gambled and it paid off. Oh, so much for Albrecht sniffing blood and sensing there's a chance to kill off this tie. That's a big error from Amori. But you're right in the anticipation of Sawo to put that away. Just reads it, reads it, reads that situation, pounces on that error. And it's a nice composed finish. Now, can they be dangerous here? Look at the position he's in. Sahil, bearing down a goal. Can he make this four? Has he got in fouled? No, the referee says he's got the ball. And to be fair, no one is arguing with that. The Russian, they're so exposed at the back, aren't they? Elbrecht's Nigata, the problem is the chasing. Ilhan! Into the side netting. Those are the kind of things he puts away in his sleep normally. The referee has called time on what has been a superb night of cup football at Jurongi Stadium. Yeah, goals are plenty, pl and lots of chances. It ends here, Albrecht's Nagata 3, Haugang United 3. And if you've enjoyed that, you've got a whole other leg still to come.